So just enjoying like a hot dog wrapped up in pastry. Yeah. Yeah. I'm waiting for my mate bus to get yeah. here. Getting there soon at 9.30. Yep. I've planned for an awesome day. Uh, so I'm leaving Nirvana now. And we're heading up to Kavana. Kavana, Kavana. <laughs> it's gonna take an hour to get there. Well, I've just arrived in Kavana. Big monument to 1877. The water bus should be in walking distance from the Brunei Jam Studio statue. Well, I've just arrived in Kavana. It's 10.30. Only took one hour for me to get here from Vana. And I won't have to wait long for the next bus to get back home because it's gonna be here at lunchtime. I'm gonna have a little bit of a look around town. We're gonna firstly go for, find the Ron James Deer statue. And if I can find it, there's a mural of David Coverdale. Yes, from what I remember, there is a heavy metal festival that happens here yearly and so many great bands have played here in this town, in Kavana on the Black Sea, like Man of War and Whitesnake and you name it. Guys, just see how big that puddle is right there. So the park from where you'll find the Ronald James Deere statue is just down this road, walking distance. And it was actually unveiled sometime in the last 10 years. But you gotta remember, Ronald James Deere passed away in 2010. And so it's been 13 years. This sorry, next month will be 13 years since he passed away of stomach cancer. And for all those people who don't know anything about Ron James Dio or have no music, he was the front man in so many different bands. Like, in the 50s, he was like with a band called Running the Red Caps where he played bass. And he was in Elf in the 70s. The guitarist of Deep Purple, Richie Blackmore, pinched him. And he formed Rainbow for the first three albums. And then after he started off with Rainbow, he was with Black Sabbath. For what heaven and hell and the mob rules. After a dispute over the amount of, of volume and mixing tuning on that Black Sabbath live album, he formed his own band Dio. And then the funny thing was, he actually rejoined Black Sabbath in 1992 to perform another album. And then he went back to his usual project at Dio. He, the last thing he ever made was Heaven and Hell. Now, I got to see Heaven and Hell live at the Sydney Entertainment Centre in August 2007 and I was really grateful to be at this concert because Black Sabbath came to Australia in 1980 when Ronnie James Dio was the singer. And then also Dio came to Australia in his own band Dio. And yet again also Rainbow did perform in Australia. So, the park we're wearing James Deere statue, it's over here. Let's get to it. So here we are in Kavana. We have a statue of the communist times. Remember those who die fighting fascism. And even somebody's pointed uh, to Putin like that way. But look what we have here. This is what I have left Varna today for. I remember when I got up at 7 o'clock this morning, 
I thought to myself, do I really want to go to Gavana and get stuck there? I wasn't too sure about the bus timetables, just roam to rail, doesn't tell me anything. But then I thought to myself, you gotta do this. You were supposed to do this in 2010, sorry, 2020, but then Bulgaria was closed and you, I couldn't go to Raki Kurdistan. So, we have a statue of the one and only Ronnie James Dio. Holy diver! Holy diver! You've been down too long in the midnight sea. All must be coming of me. Ride the tiger! Yeah. So, this is like the only place in the world that you'll find a Ronnie James Dio statue. I mean, they don't even have one in America. In the state of New York or Connecticut where he grew up, there is a road named after him. There's also a statue of Lemmy at the Rainbow, I mean, don't even off the top of it, but... And this is just so iconic. For me. Martin Metalhead here. I'm, I'm, I'm in Kavana, Bulgaria on the Black Sea, and I'm visiting Ronnie James Dio's statue today. So, and also, if you're Bulgarian, can you please let me know who this person is? Uh, I... No offense, like, I'm I'm still struggling to, like, read Cyrillic these days, I mean, I know that, like, backward shapes and it means an I. M-I-H-A-V-I uh, so, so I assume this is probably a local musician. I don't know why his statue is here. Yeah. So this concludes my vlog of me going out to Kavana to visit the statue range in studio. If you want to get to Kavana, there's buses daily from Varna. Just get to the bus station, ask for a bus ticket. It'll only take you one hour, it'll cost you eight lev-ish to get here. Anyway, this is Martin the Mellowhead, trying to find some shelter, and want to get back home soon, over and out.